Hello everyone, and once again by everyone, I mean all none of you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to give a good, good, in, good intro, and uh, I'm not going to redo really this one. This is Doug. Doug is the dwarf. Doug wanted treasure, so Doug dug, and he dug, and he dug, deep into the heart of the earth, and this is what he found. That's a, that's a better intro than I think I gave last time. But, um... So basically what I'm, how I'm going to do these videos is, uh, you know, I can't predict what's going to happen in the game. Like, there are obvious things that are, that are going to happen in the game. Like, Doug is going to dig. But, um, the issues and the obstacles I face will likely be different, you know, in certain uh, situations. Like, uh, usually, you won't see two monsters. You know, there's one right here and one right there. At the, at the bottom of the screen. Usually you won't see him this early. Uh, in the game. Usually, usually it'll be, you know, around 20 meters or so you'll see him. But, um, hold on. There's something I've always wanted to see. It's gonna happen right now. <laughs> so those spider-looking things, they, um, if you haven't noticed already, they... Can defy gravity basically um, they go in whichever directions their legs are so take a look at this guy down here the next time it uh, makes a round they continuously either go clockwise or counterclockwise and they only ever go the direction that their legs are facing that is why that one spider went into oblivion i've always wanted to see that happen and i have it on recording so i'm happy um, an issue that all monsters, uh, you, have, you can't defend going up, only side and down. So, like, if this monster were to land on me, I would die. Uh, unless, of course, I had an item to prevent that. Otherwise, if it were to land on me, on my head, I, I would die. It's just how, that's just how it is. And that same goes for any monster. Um, and we'll get to all of that as we see him. That was a rat there, but it, it, it's long dead. So we'll cover rats again when we see another rat. Let's see, these uh, different colored ore, you know, they, um, they're all worth a different amount. The orange ones are worth 100, the blue ones I think are worth 200, and the gold ones are worth. 300 and then of course have you as you've seen so far those little gold uh, globs right there are worth 500 um, oh and the blue ones are also worth 500 these blue gems and sapphires maybe I don't know rats all right so rats <laughs> is dead poor little, poor little Remy there they dig horizontally uh, not endlessly they they will move back and forth every once in a while but they do dig back and forth and they don't um, they will fall to lower levels if there is a gap they're not like well anyways they, yeah they do fall to lower levels so watch your head if you happen to dig below one um I mean, all, all these monsters more or less have a weakness and are easy to deal with if you know what you're doing. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing because I just let that box get away from me. And I don't feel like dying this early in the game just to get that. So I'm going to do this and see what I can uh, get out of it. I might still be able to get this box by doing that, making the cave collapse. Yep. There we go. Uh, I usually make caves collapse on purpose, but sometimes I'll be under the cave. Let's see, I feel like we're getting around the five minute mark. So, I'm gonna pause here, and I will get back to you later. <laughs> 